Hey y'all, I've been practicing this week for a performance of my 2018 piece, Buy On. Due in part to the move away from live concerts over the pandemic, I've only performed this piece once, so I'm kind of happy to be revisiting it. While it's on my mind, I thought it would be interesting to talk through some ideas from the piece, specifically about custom interfaces and communication between different programs, different softwares. Now, I had a bunch of ideas I was working on in this piece, including Northern Japanese shamanism, brainwave entrainment, Coltrane-inspired harmony, but in the interest of staying focused today, I'll save discussion of those dimensions for another day. Software-wise, Bion is a combination of Akima Timeline and Unity 3D. All of the sounds in this piece come from Kima, and Kima and Unity 3D are in bi-directional conversation over OSC, Open Sound Control. I'll get more into the details of that in just a moment. I performed the piece on this custom interface that I call the Catalyst, which is a bit of a nod to the Dark Souls series of games. This is a retro-looking but not actually that old radio that I found in a thrift shop and gutted. I'll show you what's inside the case now. All right, so here's the control portion here. As you can see, this is just a uh, piezo, a contact mic that's wired right into an audio jack. And so this is what sends information to the computer, specifically it's what sends audio information into Kima. The rest of this is just a rather poorly constructed amplifier. Well, hold, hold on, let me flick the switch. Little uh, serious looking switch there. Volume control for the output. Nine volt battery gives power to this little circuit here that's sort of floating on the circuit board. And then this is the input of that speaker. One minor, minor point I want to put out, I think this is the original speaker for the, the radio in there, is this. Anybody know what that is? The answer is it's a spring from one of those little toy microphones, you know, that you shout into and it makes a, a reverb-like sound. And so it's like got its own built-in spring reverb in this speaker. All right, uh, I'm going to put this back together. And that's it. All that's in there is the amplified speaker and the contact microphone. I play this piece by striking the catalyst, and the sound from the contact microphone gets passed into Kima. That sound itself is transformed by Kima in real time, but importantly, the sound is also used as a trigger. It's checked against the threshold, and then if it's loud enough, it works as a trigger. This trigger triggers events in Kima, but also those triggers are passed to Unity via OSC. So, when I hit the radio, it triggers a sound, and it also triggers actions in the Unity game. Now, I said this is bi-directional communication. What I've explained so far is only going in one direction, right? Kima communicating those triggers into Unity. Where this becomes bi-directional is that Unity is then telling Kima about things going on in the game. Collisions between objects, proximity of objects, the number of times a particular event has happened, and my Kima program interprets that into a progression of the piece, as well as live sound design. I don't want to get into the whole explanation of my Kima sounds here because I think this would be a significantly longer video, but just to give an example, here's some of the chords that are created, and you can see the frequency here is taken by this OSC C1, and this is all controlled by Unity. So Unity passes out a chord that has these different Cs, C1, oops, C2, C4, we've skipped one there, C3. This one is also 4, 1. It's taking these different chord tones. And then it's constructing, Kima is constructing that chord in real time with these oscillators. Additionally, here's a Kima sound for collisions. When there's a collision, when you get a collision, that's the gate of this collision, right? And then also the collision randomizes the panning of the sound. Distance, 
this is done with a interpolate presets, but this OSC distance, which is the distance between uh, the red orb and the target, smooths through this interpolate presets, right? And so it is basically moving a slider as it gets closer, it moves closer to there. A final note is that while Kima is sending stereo out to the house speakers, remember the catalyst is also a speaker itself. A not so great speaker with lots of character. So certain sounds are sent to the third mono speaker in the catalyst, adding an antiphonal dimension to the piece and hopefully helping to imbue some more magic into this very, very simple custom interface. In this way, I think I'm playing with ideas of custom interfaces, with the idea of one button games, which you might also be familiar with, and hopefully ending up with an exciting piece that ends up being a conversation between the goals of gaming and aesthetic musical goals. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. See you next time.